Alright, what's up? Alright. Before we get started with this news, whoo, um, give the video a thumbs up, like, 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 let's get right to it, bro. Dr. Sir Ken Toto. <laughs> Shout out to the homie Super Metal Dave. I ran across his tweet, I clicked on the article, and it put a big smile on my face. Dr. Sir Ken Toto. For those of you that don't know, he's an industry insider, and he has been spot on with most of the stuff that he's heard. He hear, he knows stuff. He has connections with um, production assembly, um, industry insiders that knows what's going on in the video game world. And this is coming from GamesIndustry.biz. They asked him about 2020, and this is what he said concerning Nintendo. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that Nintendo will launch a Switch Pro in 20. He said, there's, uh, usually when dudes aren't too sure, they're like, um, I give it a good chance. There's a good possibility. About a 60%. He says there's absolutely no doubt in his mind that Nintendo's going to launch a Nintendo Switch Pro in 2020. And now the price he's guessing. He says my guess is going to come in at $399, $400. More specifically, I'm still reading his quote. I predict 4K support, bigger cartridge sizes. There's already um, rumors and um, reporting that Nintendo's already doubling the cartridge sizes to 64 gigabytes as opposed to 32 gigabytes. Give more credence to what he's saying. And of course, beefed up components. I also think the device will launch after the summer holidays to counter the rollout of the PlayStation 5 and next-gen Xbox later in the year, along with a first-party system seller game. Oh, so many things in what he just said. First, it makes sense. The Switch, the Switch that we currently have, great system, but major compromises with the technology for the portability third-party games struggle on the switch bro when i'm playing nba 2k on the xbox i could pretty much shoot my my eyes closed and i'm green in shots on the switch it's hit or miss with the lag because of the hardware and the strain on the hardware. Even Nintendo's first party games. Yoshi's Crafted World. Dope game. Art style brilliant. But the game ran at sub HD. It had to make a sacrifice. Because of the assets running in Unreal Engine 4. I think the game was running at 540p. Um, adjustable resolution. No way this should happen. And so Nintendo knows with Sony and Microsoft about to launch next gen systems. The Xbox Series X just got announced. Dudes are like, the, the Switch is going to get left behind when it comes to third party games. And so a Switch Pro in 2020 makes perfect sense now. Do I think the Switch Pro is going to try to be on par with the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5? No. I think they're going to target around PlayStation, the current PlayStation 4, maybe PlayStation 4 Pro level. 
um, if this dude is, if Dr. Sirk and Toto is saying 4K possibilities, I really don't think Nintendo might push it that much because if they're still going to have the Switch and make it portable, now if they're coming with the, out, out with a home console, that's different. But if they're still going for portability, that's going to be expensive to have that much power in a portable form. In fact, even though, bro, cell phones right now are super powerful, but they cost $1,000. And Nintendo's not going to go for that. One thing Nintendo could do, though, is to make it a premium optional device where it still runs the same exact games as the current Switch or Switch current Switch owners don't feel burnt, but optional so the price don't even matter, $500. So dudes can't trip, oh, I'm good with my current Switch, still play the same games, but I would buy it, I'd pick it up. Bro, if Nintendo launches a Switch Pro, as much as I love the design of the Xbox Series X, I wouldn't pick it up, bro. <laughs> I just played on the PC. All the Xbox and Sony games will be on the PC anyway. But the one of the reasons why I play my Xbox is because of the third-party games that can't run good on the Switch. That would alleviate my problems, Nintendo. Come on, give us power. And so a couple things he said that really put a smile on my face. First, the bigger size cartridges. 64 gigabytes makes sense. Um, beefed up components. Of course, it has to have more power. The launch date. He says will launch after the summer holidays to counter the rollout of the PlayStation 5 and next-gen Xbox. Bro, because at E3... Oh my goodness, if they do this at E3, Nintendo's E3 is going to be big. But, at E... If Nintendo is going to have their next-gen console at E3, I'm going to go to E3. Only if there's new hardware. If there's not new hardware, I ain't going. But, if there's new hardware, I'd go, bro. I'd, I'd make arrangements. I had to check my schedule, but I'd try to go to E3. Bro! Launching... And the holiday would be per I mean, the summer right after E3 would be perfect. Because that's when Sony and Microsoft is going to have the push for their um, consoles. They're going to be pushing their consoles, especially at E3. If Nintendo launches their system before Sony and Microsoft, they're going to steal their thunder. And don't get me wrong. Nintendo's probably not going to go in the power race. They're not going to try to uh, go toe for toe as far as power. But if they can get the specs reasonably close to where the games run good. 60 frames per second. That's all I'm asking. I would be good with 1080p 60 frames per second for my Switch games. And so, holiday, um, summer... And the last thing he said was it's going to launch alongside a system selling first party game. Bro, two games come to mind. Now, these are possibilities, but two games come to mind. Um, definitely probably Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. This game looks well in development. If it's running on the same engine as the first... Look at the water. Bro, it looks good. As the first Zelda game, but optimized for the Switch. Zelda ran at 30 frames per second. If they could get this at 60 for the Switch Pro, that would be dope. This next game is a long shot. We've just had recent rumors about Nintendo outsourcing... Or Retro Studios outsourcing their environments for Metroid Prime 4... Maybe they're, they're cranking up development for this game. But then that'll only give the game a year and a half in development since they announced that Retro Studios is taking over. So this is more of a long shot. I think Breath of the Wild 2 would be a good system seller for the Switch Pro. Oh! <laughs> this makes perfect sense though. And so Dr. Sir Toto, very reliable source. He says, and I quote, There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that Nintendo will launch a Switch Pro. So he seems pretty confident that a Switch Pro is coming 2020. Nintendo, 
take my money right now, bro. I just game on my Switch and my PC. I'll just be Switch PC if um, if that's the case. All right, dudes, what do you guys think of uh, Nintendo launching a Switch Pro? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime. You can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later.